Have you ever wondered how a group like Palestine's Hamas manages to manufacture rockets? Now, to understand this, first, we need to get a grasp of the context. Hamas is not just a military group, it's a political organization with a significant influence in the region. Operating from a geographically constrained and politically volatile area, the manufacturing of rockets is no small feat. One must remember, we're talking about a region that's been under economic and political isolation for years. This isolation means that importing the necessary materials for rocket production is nearly impossible. Therefore, self-reliance becomes the name of the game, with Hamas having to depend on local resources, ingenuity, and a significant degree of improvisation. So it's not just about producing a rocket. It's about doing so amid numerous and significant challenges. With these challenges, one might wonder how Hamas manages to produce rockets. Let's delve into the process. The production of rockets by Hamas is a feat of ingenuity and resourcefulness. It is a complex process that begins with the acquisition of raw materials. These materials are often sourced locally or smuggled into the region. Given the blockades and restrictions in place, this is no small task. Every piece of metal, every bit of fuel has to be procured with great effort and at great risk. Once the raw materials are secured, the next step is the manufacturing process. This is not carried out in a centralized location, but rather it is decentralized and often takes place in hidden workshops scattered throughout the region. These workshops are the heart of the operation, where the raw materials are transformed into the components of a rocket. The process is a combination of rudimentary techniques and modern ingenuity, with workers using everything from basic hand tools to advanced machinery to create the rocket parts. After the components have been manufactured, the next step is assembly. This is a meticulous process, as each component must fit together perfectly. It requires a high level of precision and attention to detail. The assembled rockets are then subjected to rigorous testing to ensure they will function as intended. This testing process is critical, as any malfunction could have catastrophic consequences. Throughout this entire process, Hamas has to contend with constant threats and challenges. The blockades and restrictions make acquiring materials difficult, and the need for secrecy makes manufacturing and assembly a risky proposition. But despite all these hurdles, Hamas has managed to create a functioning rocket production system. This process from acquisition to assembly is a testament to the determination and resourcefulness of those involved. It is a process marked by ingenuity, resilience, and a relentless pursuit of a goal. But it is also a process fraught with danger and controversy. Despite the challenges, Hamas has managed to create a functioning rocket production system. But what are the implications of this? The ability of Hamas to manufacture rockets has significant implications. On a local scale, this means that Hamas has achieved a certain degree of self-sufficiency. Despite the blockades and the restrictions imposed on them, they've found a way to continue their military activities. This ability to adapt and to persist in the face of adversity could potentially alter the dynamics of the ongoing conflict. Now let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. The global implications are perhaps even more concerning. The fact that a non-state actor can manufacture such weapons poses a significant challenge to international security. It opens up a Pandora's box of questions. How can the international community effectively control the proliferation of weapons when non-state actors can produce them independently? And more worryingly, could this method be copied by other groups? This isn't just about Hamas and their rockets. This is about the changing nature of warfare and conflict. It's about the rise of non-state actors and the increasing complexity of maintaining global security. It's about the need for innovative strategies to address these evolving challenges. The production of rockets by Hamas provides a stark example of how non-state actors can adapt to challenging circumstances to meet their objectives. It's a reminder that in this ever-changing world, the rules of the game are constantly being rewritten. So, we've learned how Hamas overcomes numerous challenges to produce rockets. We've delved into the context of their operations, the complexities of their rocket production process, and the far-reaching implications of this capability. This intricate journey has shown us how an organization like Hamas can engineer weapons in the face of adversity. Understanding these dynamics not only provides insight into Hamas as an organization, but also into the broader issues of non-state actors and weapon production. Thank you for tuning in.